Surprise G.I. Joe Classified reveals for G.I. Joe Day. Star Wars reveals from this morning's live stream. A new Masters of the Universe Origins figure from Mattel. A new McFarland Toys DC Multiverse Dark Knight Trilogy figure tease. And a whole lot more. So let's jump right into it. Hello, you action figure enthusiasts out there. JC here, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of TNI News. Now, I know yesterday in yesterday's news video, I told you guys that today I was going to be posting a review of the Haslab Sky Striker, but today ended up being so busy. Uh, we got a bunch of surprise GI Joe reveals. We had the Star Wars live stream this morning, and 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 a bunch of other things. So uh, I'm pushing the the Haslab Sky Striker review until uh, probably Friday. Uh, tomorrow we'll do a live stream. Um, even though today is apparently GI Joe Day, according to Hasbro, so it would have been a good day to get the the Sky Striker review out. But I I felt like there was so much news to get to you guys that I'd go on and do another news video, which third one in a row. So it's definitely been a busy week. Now um, speaking of the live stream, I just got uh, in from Mattel Creations the new Masters of the Universe Origins uh, Frogmonger figure. So we might take a closer look at that tomorrow during the live stream. So if you want to see that, you know, be sure to tune in. That's probably going to be around 7 p.m. Eastern time, the usual time. But let's get into the news today. We've got a lot. So let's start off with Star Wars. So as I mentioned, there was a live stream this morning with Hasbro Star Wars brand team. We did get a number of uh, new product reveals for Vintage Collection, uh, Black Series, uh, one retro uh, collection figure. So let's just go down the list of everything they, they revealed. So first of all, with Vintage Collection, we got a new, uh, or I should say we are getting, none of these have gone up for pre-order. None of these went up for pre-order today or this week. Uh, the only one they gave us an actual pre-order date is the upcoming Walmart exclusive, which I'll, I'll get more into that in just a minute. But for Vintage Collection, uh, these are all mainstream releases. So they when they do get released, they'll be available everywhere. We're going to be getting a new Return of the Jedi Admiral Piet. We're going to be getting a clone Captain Hauser. So I guess they had done this guy before, but he had the wrong name or something. So uh, from the Bad Batch. So we are getting him with the correct name. We're getting a Return of the Jedi Darth Vader with removable helmet and removable hand, of course. So an updated Darth Vader. We're getting a new Return of the Jedi Han Solo figure. No Endor coat with this figure, but based on Han Solo from the Return of the Jedi movie. We are getting uh, the Weak Way from Return of the Jedi. This is a repack figure. From Clone Wars, we're getting a Phase 2 Clone Trooper. And then from the Expanded Universe, the video games, we are getting a Star Killer once again. This is a refresh figure. Now, besides that, we are also going to be getting a uh, uh, Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Should also be, at some point, made available on Shop Disney. But it's another four-pack. This is the, the 212th Clone uh, Battalion. So, um, if you like clones, you're getting more of them in this four-pack. And again, this is primarily going to be a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Though, again, no word on when exactly it's going to become available on the website. And then for pipeline reveals, when it comes to vintage collection, they let us know that we're going to be getting a new Book of Boba Fett Jedi Luke Skywalker figure. And then from the Obi-Wan series, we're going to be getting a two-pack featuring Darth Vader versus Obi-Wan Kenobi. For vehicles in the vintage collection line, they let us know that we are going to be getting a speeder bike and biker scout from the Mandalorian series. And then also the Mandalorian's new N1 Starfighter. So... Uh, both of those will be coming at some point this year to the Vintage Collection line. For Retro Collection, they just showed off a new Target exclusive prototype Mandalorian figure. So one of these multicolored figures that have been exclusives to Target that do come on the Retro card box. Uh, this one again is based on the Mandalorian. There'll be six different color variations of this figure released. And again, no idea when Target will actually make this available. Now for Black Series, they revealed another one of their Return of the Jedi uh, 40th Anniversary card back figures. This is an Endor Trooper, so uh, first time we're getting him in the Black Series. This one is going to have two different head sculpts. It's an all-new figure. You're going to get the younger head sculpt and then the older one 
which um, I'm not, I, I get confused. I want to say, you know, one of the celebrations, they said that, that the old looking guy in Return of the Jedi uh, with the white beard and everything, uh, they had dubbed as, as Rex, an old version of Rex, even though back when he was in the movie, you know, Rex didn't exist, but they were kind of trying to make it canon. So I, I don't know if that's really the case, but if you want to call this guy Rex, you can. So that one's going to have an MSRP of thirty three ninety nine. It is uh, being listed as a deluxe figure. Then we're also going to be getting a new 6-inch uh, Kai uh, Addy Mundi, another Jedi to add to your collection. That one's going to be released sometime in 2024, so uh, that one's still a, a bit ways off. And then uh, they showed off a new roleplay item, the Return of the Jedi Biker Scout Helmet, electronic helmet. That's going to cost you about $132. For Pipeline Reveals, they let us know that we're going to be getting a Book of Boba Fett, Jedi Luke, and Grogu build-up pack. We're also going to be getting a, a deluxe Darth uh, Mulgus figure, another video game figure. And then Ahsoka's Loyalist uh, Clone Trooper helmet will be getting the roleplay treatment in Black Series as well. So uh, those were the Pipeline Reveals from the Black Series. And then they also announced two exclusives in the Black Series line as well. So the first one is going to be released at least initially at Star Wars Celebration in Europe this year, which will be taking place um, April 7th through the 10th. So again, uh, this year's celebration will be over in Europe. And the Starth Vader that is based on the Revenge of the Jedi uh, poster, which was the initial post poster that was put out, uh, with the wrong name or they ended up changing the name to return of the jedi because jedis don't seek revenge but um but but that's what the star fader figure is based on so it's got the red tint and everything to it like in the poster it's got the packaging it's got nice packaging and stuff so that figure again is going to be a star wars celebration europe exclusive and the cost of it's going to be 34 dollars. i would guess they'll make it available at some point in some way here in the united states but as of right now, they're just calling it a, a Celebration Europe exclusive. And then the final Star Wars Black Series reveal, and actually the final Star Wars reveal period for the day, was the Walmart exclusive uh, Clone Commander Jesse. Now, again, this is going to be a Walmart exclusive. And with this figure, they also gave us the official dates for the next Walmart CollectorCon event. I'm not sure if they realized that Walmart hadn't actually announced this yet or not, but but they went on and put the dates out there. So the next Walmart Collector Con event is going to be March 16th through the 17th. This particular figure, this uh, clone uh, commander, Jesse, will go up for pre-order on the first day on the 16th, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So, you know, Walmart does their collector thing where they put a bunch of exclusives and stuff up on their website. So again, the next one is going to be taking place on March 16th through the 17th. Now, while Hasbro has not officially said this yet, it's a good bet that some of the other recent Walmart exclusives that Hasbro has announced, like the Indian, the two Indiana Jones figures, uh, six-inch figures that they announced in the last Indiana Jones live stream, uh, the Professor Indiana Jones and the Walter Donovan figures. You know, they said those were both going to be Walmart exclusives, but they didn't say when they would be available or what have you. But best guess is they probably will also go up during the Walmart Collector Con event. And then the same thing goes for that Marvel Legends uh, Craven the Hunter figure that they announced in the last Marvel live stream. Uh, again, they said it was going to be a, a Walmart exclusive, this classic uh, Craven that should be on a Spider-Man retro card back. They said it would be a Walmart exclusive, but they didn't tell us when it was going to be uh, released or anything like that. And my guess is this will also be available during the Walmart Collector Con event. Now switching over to McFarlane Toys. So yesterday I told you how they had released a preview image for their Dark Knight Trilogy Kristen Bale Batman figure. Well, today we got uh, a reveal for the Two-Face figure from this wave. So this is a Build-A-Wave. I'm pretty sure the Build-A-Figure is going to be uh, Bane. Um, we know Joker is also going to get released in this line and a Scarecrow figure. So, um, But uh, Two-Face was the reveal for today. I'm guessing this wave is going to go up for pre-order sometime this month. I won't say that for sure, but that would be my best guess. Um, and likely we'll see the rest of the figure. They'll preview the rest of the figures, even though they already showed these figures off during New York Comic Con. 
um, they'll probably uh, continue to preview these figures over the course of, of the next several days. For you fans of the Masters of the Universe Origins line, so I told you how I'd gotten the Frogmonger figure. Mine arrived today. There had been some indications that possibly some people's orders had been canceled, but I haven't heard anything widespread on that. So if, if there were cancellations, it sounds like it was minimal. But if you did uh, manage to get this one off the Mattel Creations website, it should be shipping out to you probably now. But yesterday, thanks to Walmart, we got a look at a brand new Masters of the Universe Origins figure. This is another one from the Rulers of the Sun uh, subline. So uh, uh, Duplico is the name of this character. He is the Heroic Duplicator. So not very original on the name there. Assuming he makes uh, duplicates of himself or something. He's like maybe the Jamie Maddox of, uh, of Masters of the Universe. But, um, um, you know, this figure, I believe, is going to be part of the 13th wave. It has shown up on the Walmart website. It's not available for purchase, but we did get this one image. So uh, this is a figure that we had not yet seen before. For you Rebel Tech fans, yesterday I told you how uh, Kiato had shown off a preview image for uh, Amazing Yamaguchi Rebel Tech Moon Knight figure. So yesterday evening, they revealed this preview image showing uh, two new DC figures, Flash and Reverse Flash. So no other details at this time, but it does look like uh, Flash is going to be making his way to the uh, Revel Tech line along with his arch nemesis, the Reverse Flash. And when more details become available on this, I'll be sure to let you guys know. If you're a fan of the Chainsaw Man property, we've got another figure coming from Tomasi Nations for the SH Figure Arts line. This is Samurai Sword, and he comes with an uh, interchangeable lower jaw and an extra pair of hands. He's got the, the swords kind of just sticking out all over. Um, but it, again, if you're a fan of uh, Chainsaw Man, this is probably one that you're going to want to check out. Now, this figure is going to be going up for pre-order. should be going up for pre-order tomorrow. And uh, the figure is supposed to be released in July of this year. Okay, now let's get into G.I. Joe. So apparently today is G.I. Joe Day, according to Hasbro. First thing I wanted to let you know, if you pre-ordered the first wave of G.I. Joe Ultimates from Super 7, yesterday they put out uh, an update for that wave, letting folks know that it is shipping from the factory now and that they're hoping to have it in folks' hands, starting to ship out to folks by the end of this month. So... If, if Again, if you pre-ordered that wave, then, then you should be getting it in your hands fairly soon. And then today, Hasbro started revealing or releasing digital renders for a number of G.I. Joe classified figures. These are ones that they told us were coming, but we hadn't actually seen yet. Now, again, keeping in mind, these are only the digital renders, but they do all look pretty good. But so today we got a look at the new uh, G.I. Joe classified snow job figure, which definitely has all the right accessories, it looks like. We also got a look at Scrap Iron, and I, I love the update to his missile launchers with the treads and everything, so it's like a little mini tank now. We also got a look at the Steel Corpse 2-pack, which I believe is probably the Troop Builder 2-pack that they mentioned this weekend that I told you about earlier this week. So this is a female and a male version of the Steel Corpse, and you see it does come with uh, jetpacks, which is nice. That's the main reason why I want to get it. I was never a huge fan of, of this design, but uh, if, if Hasbro wanted to do a selfie series of this one, you know, this was like the original selfie figure back in the day where you could like have your, your I think it was like you could have your face put on the figure or something like that. But um, so uh, Steel Corpse 2-pack with the jetpacks is coming. And then uh, the final uh, render that we got to look at was the G.I. Joe classified Televiper with Trouble Bubble. So again, they had told us that one was coming, but now uh, we have the render. Now, no indications exactly on when these are going to go up for pre-order sometime this year, but they haven't said, they haven't said like these are all part of the same wave, though that is probably a good uh, line of thinking. Uh, you know, they probably have got the renders ready for the next wave. So I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, we saw renders already for what I think is going to be the next wave to go up for pre-order, which is like the torpedo, the rock and roll figure, the copperhead and the shipwreck. So I think that's probably going to be the next wave that goes up for pre-order. And then I wouldn't be surprised if these figures that they showed today would be the following wave after that. Now, remember that Hasbro has said that there will be a G.I. Joe live stream uh, this month sometime. They still haven't given a date for that yet. 
Possibly we have a G.I. Joe or G.I. Joe pre-orders going up on the 14th, so it might be around that time. But, but uh, you know, definitely this month is looking pretty good if, if you're a G.I. Joe Classified fan. Now, earlier today, they made available again on the Hasbro Pulse website the, the Classified Serpentor with Air Chariot and the Dr. Mindbender figures. Both of those are exclusive to Hasbro Pulse. Uh, they have since sold out. But um, if you had missed out on those initially, hopefully you got another shot at them this morning. Okay, so that's it for today. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about down in the comment section below. Like this video if you're so inclined, and please think about subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell notification so alerted every time I upload a new video. As always, guys, stay safe out there, and until next time, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.